Hey guys, so I figured that I would take you along with me today. I've never done a video like this before where I'm gonna like really be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I have to go to the bank and like move some money over to like my other bank and then I have to go to the store and get groceries. I have to go to Costco and get gas because it's gonna be even cheaper there. Last time I went there, it was like $3.50. Um, so yeah, so let's go. So I'm at the first stop right now, which is one of my banks. I have multiple banks because I have different bills come out of different banks and it just helps me organize everything. Um, so now I'm gonna go get gas because I'm actually really, really close to being out. And then I'm gonna go put this in my other bank. So I'll see you at Costco. So if you're wondering, why would people wait in a line that is so long? Um, it's usually, the gas is usually like 15 to 20 cents cheaper. It just really depends on like what's going on. Um, and if you have a car that takes premium, it's usually like, um, like five to 15 cents. It just depends. Um, they don't really put too much of a discount on premium. Okay, I'm at a red light. I have a... A moment our red lights here are pretty long in case you live in a small city um yeah gas was 349 which i'll put right here um which was great whenever i go to costco if i'm the person in the back and if i'm in the front too i'll try to look it's just easier when you're in the back um at whatever the other person is doing so whenever they're done pumping gas in front of me i usually try to stop as well so um i almost filled up i got 9.1 gallons which is totally fine um it'll be cheaper in a little bit anyways because this is the weekend um but yeah so now on to my other bank okay so i just did my transaction on my other bank if you're like wow i can't believe she's like sitting in the atm line uh and like doing this or whatever don't worry like no one is here and if someone did come i would just move um and my other bank is like very much so like it's the older people usually that use that bank and so not that many of them like to use an atm card or a debit card um so they're not usually there's usually no one in that drive through like in the whole time that i've lived here i think i've been to or since that bank opened like five years ago i've been there like two times with somebody in the line <laughs> anyways um so with costco as well uh the reason that i like to drive away when the other person's driving away is because even though you can go around and get in front, uh, like the person behind me could have gone around and gotten in front. It's just like such a hassle for like no reason. So that's why I like to go ahead and just pull up with them. Um, and now I need to go to Petco to do a return because Mitzi was having problems. So I got her these diapers and they were too small. Thankfully she didn't need them. So I'm just gonna return them and be done with it. They were $21.99. So I absolutely need that money. <laughs> so I'll see you there. So I ended up at Fazoli's because I'm hungry and I was actually thinking about them this morning and I'm right over here. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get the same thing that I always get. Um, and I'm excited because I fucking love Fazoli's. The dude that like harassed me last time that I came here, like uh, for lack of a better <laughs> way of explaining, was the one who was taking my order. So I really hope he's not the one that's taking my money, but he was just like, it would be cheaper if you did this. I'm like, why would I? order something and take ask you guys to take four things off of it instead of just ordering it the easy way so i always get spaghetti with meat sauce and add meatballs that is the easiest way to say it that's the easiest way for the kitchen to understand it why would i order something and say no mushrooms no sausage no mozzarella like that would be really hard for the kitchen to save like 40 cents why would you tell people to do that like you want it to be easy for the kitchen it's fast food whatever if i have to pay 30 extra cents or 40 extra cents because it's whatever, you know? You know what I mean? I want it to be easy on the kitchen. Of course it's him and he's like telling them to do like the survey. Oh, kill me, I hate my life. I'm so, I have the worst anxiety ever. 
I wish Brandon was here. I would make, I would literally switch with him. <laughs> so I'm like not sure if I should do it like a separate mukbang or if I should just put this in the video. So please answer that for next time because I think I'm gonna do like a separate one because I feel like the same people who wanna see a mukbang might not be the same people who wanna watch like a day in the life. So I am gonna show you the food. My final opinion on the dude is, okay, he's a nice dude. It's just his personality and my personality do not jive. So whatever he needs to do to get through his day, fine. You know, like he opens, I'll tell you what kind of guy it is. He opens the window, he's an older dude, maybe like 47 or 49, something, somewhere around there. Uh, and he's like, okay, so, and you know, like whenever they tell you what your order is, okay, so you got a plate of enchiladas. He's like, ah, I'm just kidding. And I'm just like, ah, that is like not funny, but to someone else, maybe that'd be funny. So I'm gonna let him live his life and uh, do that completely separately for me. So let me show you guys the food real quick, which you've seen a million times because I always do these mukbangs, which you can search my channel if you'd like to see the mukbang for this. Um, breadsticks, their breadsticks are better than Olive Garden, fight me. Um, way better than Olive Garden. So here's their breadstick. It's way softer um, and it has more flavor because of what they use on the outside. And then um, I love their to-go containers. They're really nice. The bottom of this is very hot. It's pretty early, it's like 11, so they probably like just opened. I don't even know what time they opened, probably 10.30. Oh, shit, okay. Cool, so it just comes like this, um, and there's the meatballs on top. Okay, so I guess I'll just film a summer mukbang and then we'll come back to the day in the life thing. I don't know. I'm still learning uh, things that I like to do. Okay, I usually take my sunglasses off, but it's way too freaking bright <laughs> in this parking lot. Um, I am actually at Sam's Club because I was looking at chicken prices, and their chicken is really inexpensive, um, even compared to HEB. The chicken here is like $2.89 a pound. HEB chicken is like, f for the chicken breasts, uh, HEB chicken breasts are like $4 a pound, something like that, and you get less of them, obviously. Um, the... My Costco is a Costco that unfortunately only sells organic chicken and I'm not buying organic chicken because it's like $5 a pound um, or $4 a pound. It's like, I think it's $4.78 or something like that. And um, yeah, that's not, that's not me. So I'm gonna take a little bit of footage inside and then I'll show you what I get as well. One thing I love about Sam's Club is their scan and go option because you can scan um, on your phone, check everything out and then go to the door and you just show them your receipt on your phone absolutely love that it's like one of my favorite parts of sam's and it is one of the reasons that i actually did get another membership here so see you inside I'm What's up, Meep? What's up, Meep? Come on. Eh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? Mimi. What are you doing? Hey, okay, so my cheeks are nice and rosy because it is very hot outside. Um, so, I couldn't really get any more footage while I was there because it was like really busy. It's Saturday, so I'm not surprised. Um, and I have this box because the chicken had a little bit of chicken juice on the bottom. I touched it while I was at the store. I was like freaking out because ew. Um, I only got two things because they didn't have an employee grabbing the buggies from outside. So when I got to the door, there were no buggies. And I'm like, it's hot. I'm only getting like two things anyways. I wanted to look at other stuff, but there were no buggies. So I'm like, okay. Um, I just took it as a sign. Some people were walking back outside to get them. That's not my life. Um, Brandon would have gotten one if I was with him, but that is okay. So 
Um, I got some of these because I regretted not getting these last time. So this is, where is it? Two pounds, 10 ounces. So there's two 16 packs. So there's 32 tortillas here for $4. I brought all my receipts with me because I'm going to show you guys the fetch app. Um, and then I got the chicken. So this is $2.98 per pound. And so this was $20 and 80 cents. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I prepare this to freeze it because I'm just going to marinate some for food tomorrow. And then the rest of it, I'm just going to put in the freezer. Um, it just says to use or freeze by the 8th, but I'm going to go ahead and take care of it right now while I'm thinking about it, um, because that will help. These boxes are just the ones that they have, like, by the door. That's the really nice thing about going to, like, a club, like a membership club or whatever, because they always have, like, extra boxes. Um, I don't think that I've showed you guys my dryer. I have a dryer now. I don't have a washing machine, but it is crazy how much more tame and calm it is to go do laundry now so i'm actually going to do that in just a little bit so let me get everything prepared so that we can do the like freezing portion of this so i have everything where it's easy for me to grab so i have my like waterproof permanent marker right here And then here I have my Ziplocs. Um, I'm gonna use the quart size freezer for this. So let me see how many breasts are here. Two, four, six. Okay, so I believe it's eight. Um, I'm gonna marinate two breasts. Um, so that would mean that I can put, I'm gonna do one, I wanna do one or two. I think I'm gonna do two breasts per bag, just split in half because it's easier for thawing and it's easier for marinating and it's way easier for cooking. It turns like a 40 minute project into like a 10 minute project. Okay, so now I'm gonna angle you guys down so you can see everything that I'm doing. And I have my gloves in easy reach too. I just have them in this little like hanging thing and I just keep the box of gloves like this and I actually open it from the end. Um, and that way I can just grab some out of the end. And then I just have my extra sponges. These are the best sponges ever. It's the O Cedar. These are so good. I get them on Amazon, but I believe that they sell them in stores as well. Oops. And that's where I just, sorry, I like angled you guys down. That's where I hang my gloves so that they can dry. And then um, I usually, like we do dishes all the time so they don't ever go inside. <laughs> and whenever I say everything is in arm's reach, I truly mean it because I have a drawer here with all my knives. So this is the knife that I like cutting chicken with. It's lightweight, it's really sharp, makes it very easy. I put a sheet of foil down. The foil is also in the drawer right next to it. Makes it so easy. Um, my entire existence is about making things easy for myself so that I do them. Okay, first step while my hands are clean. So I'm going to go ahead and write the dates on these. Hey Alexa, what's today's date? It's Saturday, July 30th. So I just do CB split and then 7.30.22, because I know that CB is chicken breast. And I'll put, it just depends. Sometimes I put that there's two, so I'll put two. But usually I actually do remember, like once I see what I wrote on it, uh, my memory is like kind of, in a way, photographic, and like just Mitzi where I just remember everything in pictures. Cool, so this is what it looks like. Set those over to the side. I'm gonna put my marker back because it needs to go where it belongs. 
I was helping Brandon last night like cook um, like macaroni and cheese from a box. That was an experience. And then um, I just open it and flip it in on itself. I would say that's probably like an inch or so. Okay, so everything's prepared. I'm just gonna set the edges on the foil. Obviously you don't have to be as neurotic. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. And I will be washing the counter after this. I just like to get as little like liquid on the counter as possible, which is why I have this. And it's so funny too, because that box ended up being the perfect size for uh, this packaging. So silly. So I'm excited to see the quality of the chicken. I'm guessing that it's like the same chicken that they have at Walmart, um, but I never buy meat at Walmart because I rarely go to Walmart. I do go there, it's just very rare. So let me see here. Okay, so let's just, let's start here. So yeah, it looks cool. I mean, looks similar. There's a bit of like bruised chicken here. So it looks like they go a little bit fast at the factory, but besides that, looks all right. So all I'm doing is just putting the knife here and dragging it through while pushing slightly. And then once I have like about an inch and a half to two inches, I grab the top and kind of push down because you'll accidentally not make it thick enough. <laughs> And I'm doing like a sliding motion as opposed to a like, um, what is it called? Um, like sawing, I'm not sawing. And then there's just a little bit of stuff here. So I'm gonna kind of slice that off a bit. Oops, I didn't mean to cut that much, but that's okay. And then I'll go ahead and leave this on because there's a bit of meat right here and I just want it to be connected. So now that I cut this, I'm just going to slide it in the bag. But yeah, they have a lot of like connective tissue in here. I think whenever you usually get it from like HEB and stuff, they have this whole thing split off. But I think this is what it means when it says like with the rib meat. Um, okay, so I'm gonna leave the fat on here because fat is flavor. So I'm just laying my hand flat, slicing through. Oop. It is hard to make sure that you do these thick enough, but it's really not a big deal. I think I'm gonna go ahead and slice this right here. This is a big chicken breast. <sighs> okay. And I usually get my bag ready for the marinating as well, but I actually completely forgot because I'm filming. That happens sometimes. This one cut a really, like almost completely even. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a pounding right there. And that way it's all about the same size. It's all, it's all relative to what you're doing, so just kind of do whatever you want, you know? You can totally freeze these as whole breasts. It really doesn't matter. I just like to do stuff that makes it easier for the stuff that I usually cook. 
just cut like a little bitty piece off of this. This one is so pink. I'll leave it in there. But yeah, I would say I equally pound them out, um, like, as cutting as well, cutting them in half. Like, it just depends what I'm doing. Mm, I'm going to pound this one out, too. Cool. So, I have these two. about the same size. This is like such a big mess. Okay. Knife in the sink. And I've been having to use my freezer bags for marinating because I keep forgetting to buy. I usually like buying the cheapest um, gallon bag that is at the store for marinating. So I will have to buy some of those. These tongs just have a little bit of olive oil on them from this breakfast this morning. And then with the foil here, I just kind of fold it over like that and throw it in the garbage. And you just kind of make it like flat. I try to put most of it towards the bottom. Usually I would have this more flat in the packaging, but it's a little bit hard to like film this stuff and do this at the same time. So I'll do it a little bit better next time. Main thing is you want it to be sealed and as much air as you can get out of it. I mean, don't drive yourself crazy, but do what you can. And you could throw a marinade on these and then pop them in the freezer and they'll be ready and marinated, but I do not need to do that. I will do it at some point, but just not this time. this out if I'm going to use it but I actually didn't know if I was going to use it so I am just placing these flat onto um, a quarter sheet and then I'm just going to stick these somewhere in the freezer that's flat right now that just so happens to be on top of these um, fish and here's the rest of my freezer at the moment which I have shown you guys recently And you can put any kind of marinade you want on these. I'm gonna go ahead and do that recipe from the recipe teacher because it's like my fave. So I'm just gonna do some oil. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Or this is actually granulated garlic. This is roasted granulated garlic. Salt. This 
smoked paprika. Cracked pepper. Molasses because this is supposed to be brown sugar. And then I think it's like supposed to be three tablespoons of sugar, but I just do like one good scoop. I would say like probably a tablespoon and a half or so. And then just some mustard, any mustard will work. And then I just like to do like a teaspoon of water. And I'm just squeezing the air out. Doesn't matter to like squeeze all the air out. It's just easier to mix it around if a lot of it is out. And I've made this chicken like a lot now. It's really good. So if you haven't made this yet, definitely make it. Great, so these are nice and coated. I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator. And then I just like to help myself out by opening the fridge first because I want to keep these flat. So I made a little spot for them. And they're just going to hang out in the fridge until tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my counter, put everything up, clean the knife and the tongs, and decide if I really want to go back out into the heat because I forgot that I need like foil and yeah, and plastic wrap. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm doing this on my iPad, so it's gonna be a little, a little bit of a different quality. Um, so I have my phone here. I'm gonna go ahead and open my Fetch Rewards app. So it's just right here. And like, this isn't a sponsored video or anything. I just literally love this app so much. So right now I have um, 35,000 points because I do this all the time. And if I see a receipt on the ground, I take it. Okay, so here's my Costco receipt. So all I'm doing uh, on the app for that, I'm just making sure that you guys can see it, is there's a little button right here and then snap. And then the camera comes up. So all I do is just take a picture of the receipt. And then it loads it. And then it kind of shows you like, hey, like I actually got all these things from that picture. If not, you can retake it. Or if it's really long, you can take multiple pictures. And then boom. That cleaner got in my nose. So now I got 25 points and um, it's usually 25 points for like everything that you scan. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this Sally's Beauty receipt that I just got yesterday because I just got some more hair color because it's been a very long time since I colored my hair, like months. So the Sally's Beauty. And I usually save like all my receipts for about a week. 
and then see I got 25 points again and then it'll usually let you know like uh, whenever you go to a grocery store like hey if you get this next time you can get um, more and then you get bonus points on certain stuff um, I just I don't buy stuff just to get bonus points um, so if I get bonus points then it really is a bonus to me because I'm not gonna just buy something to get bonus points uh, like Cottonelle always has a deal um, so I always get extra bonus points with them Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was my Sam's Club receipt. Oh, see, you can kind of see it right here. So it'll tell you, like if you bought Aquafina, Cheetos, Gatorade, Colgate, then you would get more points. And then um, you can like click on them and kind of read about why. And it's because of PepsiCo. They have a little reward system here. My points at the moment are uh, 35,854. And then they also have a thing with GoodRx where you get extra points and they have e-receipts as well. So you can put your Amazon and your email account and that way you can get receipts when they come through your email. And yeah, so like I said, uh, this is not sponsored. It's not like an affiliation or anything, but anybody who has Fetch Rewards gets a um, like referral code. So if... I have now convinced you, if you'd like to use my referral, that would be really cool because I think it's a little bit more right now. I think it's like, um, like 4,000 if you refer someone, I'm trying to find it. Oh, but they have it here too. So they tell you like all of these things that you can get like extra points on. There's a Cottonelle I was talking about, shopping at Randall's. So it just depends. Um, and you're like, well, what do I do with these points? Um, you can get shirts or you can get gift cards. So here's gift cards to like all these places. Oopsie, it's not me to click that. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, here it is. So if I refer you, I get 4,000 points and then it gives you 2,000. So you already start out with 2,000 points. Um, it was hard for me to remember to scan all my receipts at the beginning, but now that I do it and I have a system, I just put them all in like the little middle part next to my gear shift in my car. And then like every few days I bring them inside and then I'll usually set them on the counter if I haven't done them. And then after walking by them about 20 times, I'm like, oh, I need to do those. So then I'll do them. I've wasted receipts on accident by not scanning them, but I don't let that discourage me. And I just keep going because if I'm buying it anyway, I might as well get a gift card at the end. So I am going to go do some laundry, probably go to HEB and get some foil and stuff. So I will see you then. And I would say the worst thing about doing laundry right now is that my laundromat is like down this hill and right now excuse me they're repaving everything so I can't go down the hill so I have to leave my apartment out the back drive on the main road and then enter through the front <laughs> so that I can go to the laundry place and then I have to thankfully I'm able to come up the back um, but I mean I would just <laughs> I would like to go out the front However, I can't because it's closed because it goes like all the way down around and then up like it's the entire right side um, from where I am at the moment to leave. So yeah, and I'm trying out a new sunscreen right now. So I'll let you know what I think about it. So I'm gonna launch it. excuse me, with these washing machines, you're supposed to put everything in before you put the water. But I like to mix the soap up in the water a little bit. Um, and then put everything in. While there's still water going in there. So now I can go to HEB. 
It's so bright in here, I love the windows. You don't even need the lights on. Also, everyone's saying fuck it to the rules about not driving on the new pavement. So, <laughs> they've just broken through all of the uh, cautionary like tape and the uh, orange cones. Okay, getting to this HB was an experience. I didn't want to go to the one by my place, so I came to a different one. When I was driving down Mopac, uh, all of a sudden I was hit with a whole bunch of traffic and I'm like, why is there a bunch of traffic right here? It's not really the traffic time for like this kind of traffic on Saturday. So I'm like, what's going on? Uh, there was like a gigantic accident blocking up two of the lanes. Um, like there was like 500 of us in lines trying to get through a Mopac using one lane when there's usually, excuse me, three. So now I'm in my car because that was, what's weird it was only a fender bender in the fast lane so i don't know why they blocked up all the lanes of traffic pretty much that part was weird Okay, I'm glad that I took my AirPods in there with me because I walk in and imagine you walk in, you have AirPods on, so you're kind of listening to music. So you don't necessarily notice if there's something different happening when you walk up. And all of a sudden you walk in and you're blasted with freaking music. They're playing music in there so loud at the entrance. I know that sounds insane, but there's some kind of little activity going on, which reminds me that they have some, they have something for school, Kleenexes at Costco I need to go and buy those because they are on sale right now and I've been waiting for a Kleenex sale because I need Kleenex year-round because of allergies oh my gosh that was insane and there were so many people in there everywhere okay so I got some more potatoes because these are really good look at this big boy I just finished them last night because I have a buffalo sauce and ranch addiction um, I didn't get that many things but I got some things that I absolutely needed I was just talking to you guys about the um, gallon bags. So these are the gallon bags that I like using when I just need a marinating bag. So this is 30 bags for like two and a half dollars or something or 228. Um, I got some Kaboom Shower Guard. Apparently this is supposed to make it where your shower is a bit more resistant to like lime stain, hard water stains. The water in Austin like is so freaking hard. Like it's nice to have a bit of hard water because it makes it easier to wash your hair, but you don't want it to be like as hard as it is here. It's, oh, it's so frustrating. It, like our entire shower is like orange right now. We need to clean it. Um, I got some more Swiffer Wet Jet. This is actually an anti-back one. So I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. Um, like anti-back, like antibacterial. <laughs> just in case you don't know. Um, sorry, I'm like so thrown off by what just went on in there. Um, I got some more Reynolds wrap, just the regular one. This is the everyday variety. And then the last thing that I got is some regular Kaboom with OxyClean because this is not a cleaner. This is a protectant. This is an actual cleaner. So we're gonna, we have some days off coming up. Um, it's so funny how like the whole job thing ended up because I had already requested these days off from like the 6th to the 13th like months ago and then just so happens that it's kind of a weird time for me to be using like almost all of my PTO um <laughs> on these days off and I'm glad that I did because I know myself and I knew that I would need some days off um so I'm glad I'm glad that I took them and Brandon took some days off too so we can be together um but yeah so I told Brandon our first day off that we have together we are cleaning the entire apartment very th very thoroughly so no matter what we do no matter what we figure out for ourselves we are gonna know that when we come home we have a clean home um so yeah so that's everything that i got it was like 
it was $29 because the Swiffer, this stuff is usually $5.94, but since it's the antibacterial one, um, it was $6.44. The Kabooms are not expensive. They're about four bucks each. Um, and then, oh, okay, these. So these slider bags are $2.88. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna recoup, see what's going on in my brain, and um, yeah. <laughs> I think the last part of this video is actually gonna be me cooking that chicken because um, I forgot that when Brandon gets home, we have to eat dinner. So I'm probably gonna make that for dinner. Last night was such a funny dinner. Um, I had that Taco Bell and then I came home, we chilled for a little bit. I made some potatoes, like some little fried potatoes that I make in olive oil with buffalo sauce. Me and Brandon had some of those. He wanted to go to Culver's, but I was like not feeling that cause I already had Taco Bell. Like I wasn't really like that hungry, you know what I mean? Um, so, he just made like the little i was teaching him pretty much how to make the macaroni and cheese oh what is that called the cheetos one the jalapeno one he loves that shit um but he doesn't really know how to make it and i'm like dude you need to figure out how to make this so you can eat food whenever i am not here <laughs> i i don't know why people like not in like a completely like um rude way to his parents but like kind of at the same time yes because why the heck did you not teach him how to cook food? Like, he knows how to make like three things. And it's just like, he needs to survive besides like consuming fast food and ready-made food from the store and frozen meals. Oh, I hate that. Um, so if there's someone in your life that doesn't know how to make food, try to teach them as much as you can because he's willing to learn. Like, I mean, I'm a bit like, extra detail-y about stuff, but, oh, oh my god. People trying to have wrecks today. Um, this Prius just tried to back, this Prius that has a backup camera just tried to back into this fucking truck. People never look at their backup camera, it's so weird. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm still like freaked out from being the start. Uh, I'm gonna compose myself and if I go somewhere else, I'll let you know.
So I am in the Sandy's drive through gonna get a little ice cream cone. There's a whole bunch of people right here because it's Saturday, everybody's here. As you could tell by me pulling in here. This place always makes me wish that I had tent on my windows because people that are sitting right here like will stare at you a little bit. And I'm sure they're like, why is that person? Oh, week. Oh, my eyes are watering. It's about it's about time for a nap, dude. If you're not if you haven't napped yet, um, I did the Petco thing by the way. I don't remember if I said it, um, but yeah, with tax it was twenty three eighty. So returning that, very good, uh, sir. What are you doing? for me. Hi, may I please get a waffle cone with chocolate? That's it. Thank you. Oh my god. So the fucking guy behind me, the one that was in the van, which I'm sure you saw drive by, he knocked on the fucking door of the person in front of me and then came to like knock on my door too because he wanted to park. It's like, dude, you're in the line. Just fucking wait. Oh my God. What a fucking psychopath. Holy shit. It's crazy because that's never happened. I've been here, f I've been coming here for years and no one's ever done that. Like, why are you touching my car? Like, what the fuck? Like, so that you can just pull and park. Like, that is so weird weird behavior like you're not doing anything just waiting here with all of us which is what you're supposed to do there's only one driveway to get in here and then you park fucking psycho that was crazy like it's just food it's not like it's an emergency we're not at a hospital it's not that big of a deal and now he's leaving what 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 a fucking weirdo that's so crazy this was a weird experience. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, chacha when I get my fucking ice cream. That was so weird. Okay, it wasn't the white van, my bad. I got confused. Um, I think it was like the red car or something. I really don't know. Um, but you know this place is good because there's a Whataburger right next to it and it survived this long. Their food is really good too. I'm just not hungry right now. Um, I have an ice cream addiction. Brandon and I go to Baskin Robbins like almost every day. So, not every day, but there was a time where we were going like every day. <sighs> it's crazy how many more tall buildings are, they've been building down here. Also, didn't get to tell you guys, um, I just was like randomly on apartments.com because I just like going on there sometimes because this girl had posted a TikTok and uh, she was like, my rent was 3,200 and now it's like 5,000 or something and she lives in Austin. And I'm like, that's weird. So I went to go kind of like check and see maybe if I could find the apartment that she was at so I could like see like what the heck is up, right? Cause it was a one bedroom, Lady Bird Lake. Cause I looked at the rest of her TikToks. Um, she's paying 5K for a one bedroom, psychotic behavior. Um, anyway. So while I was on apartments.com, uh, I found an apartment that's kind of like right up the street from me. It's uh, at the domain, but it's not like, whatever, it's at the domain. And um, yeah, a, a three bedroom, three bath, I believe. Three bedroom, three bath, or three bedroom, two bath. I really can't remember. Negligent um, or negligible. Um, it was $16,000 and I did the math and you have to at least make $573,000 a year to live there, which would mean you're making $48,000 a month. Um, and no, I'm not like <laughs> speaking wrong. I'm like being completely serious because you have to make three times the rent. Um, so yeah, you'd have to make $48,000 a month. $48,000 a month <laughs> to live there which is wild, wild. 
them. There's always been expensive apartments here, but like for me, expensive was like 7,000 or 5,000, 5,000 or 7,000, not um, $16,000. That's crazy, that's like tuition, you know? Money's crazy. Anyways, let me get my ice cream. And I really like their chocolate ice cream. I've had their vanilla before because they actually, sometimes their chocolate machine isn't working. Um, but yeah, I prefer, cause their vanilla is like <sighs> too much vanilla. I think my phone's about to overheat. Thank you, have a good day. Okay, hopefully this is okay. This feels really good on my tongue because in my Taco Bell video, I accidentally bit my tongue. But yeah, this ice cream, it's custard. It's really good. It's super creamy. Wow, I wish you could have seen what just happened. This person like went around to drive through the Whataburger. And so they drove on the curb because people cannot be bothered to be patient here. Everyone in this city is like so fucking impatient, it's crazy. And Austin's not really a place where you should be impatient because we're surrounded by nature. Like you're supposed to be a patient person. So anyways, I'm going to enjoy my ice cream. Their waffle cone is really good um, because my phone is about to overheat and turn off. So I'll see you later. Okay, y'all. So I just chopped up some potatoes. I steamed these carrots and then sauteed them in some butter and seasoning have some oil here heating up and i have um italian seasoning this is an herbs of france it's italian seasoning and um some slap your mama um i got some dishes and then i just made this air fryer chicken breast and all i did was just spray the air fryer with cooking spray let it heat up um and then i put it in there for about 10 to 15 minutes it just depends on how thick they are these were about 17 minutes because they were pretty thick, a little thick and juicy. Um, and yeah, this will be very delicious. I'll show you the end product. So I'm just sauteing these now. I know that a lot of you have seen my cooking videos and you're like, how many times can she saute potatoes? But I've found out what I like and it works. Some pepper, sloppy mama. opened the seasoning before I started filming, but that is okay. And I'll put some salt on here. Just a little bit because the Sloppy Mama has salt. And this is when it really starts smelling good. So I'm just gonna pour the liquid from the chicken in here if I can do that without dumping this chicken I 
So it's pretty much just glazing the potatoes and it's delicious. And usually I would do a little side salad as well. I just don't have any um, lettuce at the moment. So I am just going to be eating this. Let me cut into the chicken so you can see it. And this chicken is super flavorful, nice and juicy. Hopefully it's not too hot still. Mm. That marinade is amazing. Very hot. And the carrots are a bit sweet and savory. I did a little bit of sugar and molasses, but I also put like onion powder and stuff. Amazing. Anyway, if you got this far, I appreciate you watching this video. I know I still have chicken in my mouth. I feel like a little squirrel. Um, please like the video. Comment as well. That'd be really nice. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. And this is just me preparing my lunch as well. Um, when the chicken cools down, I'll put it in here too.